Hi, I'm Tati. Let's talk about Tweet Cute. So Tweet Cute by Emma Lord is a new YA romantic comedy that is out today. I actually received an advanced reader's edition of this book from Wednesday Books at Booknet Fest. If you're looking for a short version of a synopsis, I would probably say that this book is like You've Got Mail, except it's young adult and there are some grilled cheeses. But anyway, getting back on track, in Tweet Cute, our two main characters are Pepper and Jack. Pepper's parents are the founders of one of the most popular fast food chains in the country, Big League Burger, while Jack's family owns a very popular local deli called Girl Cheesing. And when Big League Burger releases a new grandma special grilled cheese, which just happens to be very similar to Girl Cheesing's grandma special grilled cheese, an all-out Twitter war ensues. However, instead of being run by company executives, these corporate Twitters are being run by Pepper and Jack, two high school students who actually go to high school together. And of course, neither of them realizes who the other is, at least not at first. I really loved how many layers of anonymity and confusion there were to untangle between Pepper and Jack. Not only were they unknowingly at Twitter war with each other, but they were also chatting on Weasel, which is an app that lets you anonymously chat with other people until the app decides to reveal your identity to the other person and their identity to you. Hence the name Weasel, as in Pop Goes the Weasel. However, in a surprise twist, which I don't think it's a spoiler, I think it's revealed very quickly early on in the book, Jack is the creator of the Weasel app. So he has kept it from revealing the identity of himself, Wolf, and Bluebird, who he has been chatting with and who he doesn't know is Pepper. And so they've kind of become each other's best friends, even though they never hang out in real life. Meanwhile, our main characters are also dealing with the impending end of their senior year of high school, figuring out what they want to do with their lives and who they want to be. And I personally thought that these essential coming of age elements were masterfully mixed with the more fun rom com -y elements and made for a really cute, sweet, and fun and emotionally deep young adult contemporary romance. One of my absolute favorite things about this book was the way that it explored family relationships, our main characters' relationships with their parents and their siblings especially. As someone who's really close to my siblings, I love reading books that feature siblings and I think this book did a really great job of that, exploring the relationship between Pepper and her sister Paige and Jack and his brother Ethan. Because of all of this, plus how much I absolutely adored all of the characters in the book, including the side characters, I ended up giving this one four and a half out of five stars. I'm gonna get into some spoilers, so if you haven't read this book yet, you may want to leave now if you want to go into it not knowing any spoilers. Unless you're somebody who likes to be spoiled before they read the book, then feel free to keep watching. This is your last warning. <laughs> Leave if you don't want to be spoiled. Let's just start off with the biggest spoiler and get it out of the way because it might be my favorite part of the book and that is the happy ending. I love, 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 love a happy ending in a book and this one actually ties up really super nicely with a year later epilogue. And when it comes to epilogues, I love epilogues. I love YA contemporary romance books. However, one of the downsides to them is that usually as soon as the couple you're rooting for to get together gets together, the book is over. You don't usually get to explore their relationship at all past that point. So the fact that we get to see what Pepper and Jack are doing a year later as a couple is definitely one of my favorite parts. Another small thing that I really enjoyed, can we talk about the fact that Pepper could tell Jack and Ethan apart from the beginning? because I knew they were endgame from that. <laughs> and I'm kind of jumping around all over the place, but these are just little pieces that stuck out to me. But when Jack and Pepper started texting each other as Jack and Pepper, instead of just as Wolf and Bluebird, before they knew that they were Wolf and Bluebird, I was totally afraid that they were gonna be able to tell that they were Wolf and Bluebird from their kind of like texting style. The scenes where Jack and Pepper 
sort of confronted their parents and then had a heart to heart with them. Jack with his dad and Pepper with her mom especially um, were super satisfying in my opinion. I love that. Especially Pepper and her mom because like the whole book I was just feeling the injustice of Pepper's situation. And speaking of which, the part when Paige and Pepper have that conversation on the phone and Paige tells Pepper that she went to New York for her. Yeah, I was pretty much in tears at that point. Also, one of the main things that kept me reading, not that everything else in the book wasn't great, but the fact that there was this little mystery, maybe not little, but this mystery surrounding the grilled cheese recipe. How did both families have this grilled cheese recipe? And just that storyline, that plot thread that was woven all the way pretty much to the end of the book was just super great in my opinion. It kept me really engaged in the story because I knew something was up and you're supposed to know something is up. And I really enjoyed it that it was not predictable but also not like completely out there and unbelievable. It might have been a little bit predictable but it was not that predictable to me at least. I didn't find it to be obvious. So I thought I would end this video by mentioning some of my favorite Pepper Jack scenes. Also, I love that ship name, and if that's not their ship name, I'm very upset. There is nothing more perfect than Pepper Jack. It's a cheese. It is all about grilled cheeses. Number one, definitely the high dive. These are not in order of how much I liked them. These are just some of my favorite scenes. First up is the high dive scene. You know what I'm talking about. Number two, when they bake at Girl Cheesing for the fundraiser. I was so excited about that scene from when they texted about it. She was going into enemy territory. They were gonna bake together in his family's deli. I was so excited for that. And everything that happens after that is just icing on the cake. <laughs> Number three, it's like a chapter or two before the epilogue where everything's out in the open and they're walking down the street together and they both apologize and sort of forgive each other and sort of like acknowledge how crazy of a situation they're in on all fronts and kind of just agree that everything is finally okay between the two of them. And also that's also when we finally get Grandma Belly's special secret ingredient for her grilled cheese recipe. Um, number four, I'm just gonna lump together all the scenes where they found out who each other was on Twitter and on Weasel. Those are all pretty great, even if the characters themselves were not so happy at those moments. And of course, number five has to be the epilogue, which I've already talked way too much about, so. And those were my thoughts on Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. If you wanna hear more of my spoiler-filled thoughts while I was reading the book, I do have a reading vlog. If it's already up, I will hopefully have remembered to come back to this video and link it somewhere. But if not, you can find it on my channel. And as I mentioned, there are spoilers in that video, so watch that at your own risk. Have you read or are you planning to read Tweet Cute? Um, let me know in the comments. I have new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye. I always get closer to the camera and I don't need to. My hair is doing some weird stuff today. I apologize in advance. I have to stop it or it's gonna stop itself because I took way too long to film this video. Dealing with the impending wow. Wow. Layers of anim anonymity, maybe is a better way to put it. Mm, I don't know. I don't remember what I was saying before I stopped rambling. What are you doing? Say hi! <laughs> oh, not to me. The camera. You just love to eat my makeup, huh? Hello! A puppy! Are you gonna behave? Can I let you go? Can you please stop barking so that I can film my video, please? Yeah, Pepper Jack is what I'm sticking to, that's all.